Okay, people, this is a mark scheme for the potential paper three I posted earlier for A-level maths. So question one, so you write the null hypothesis and uh, you can see this, uh, you can reject H0 because it's in the critical region and uh, you can write there is a negative correlation. Question two is easier. You can pause the video and mark your answers. I just use the formulas to work out the median, mean and the standard deviation. Question three. You use the formula to work out probability of B to be one sixth. Part two, you got A union B equals one third. A dash union B dash equals eleven twelfths, and A given B dash equals one fifth. Question four, the probability using the binomial distribution is 0.3906. Probability using the normal distribution 3916, and the percentage error is 0.26. Question five, part one. Uh, you just write the equation separately and uh, and you work out the values of mu and sigma. Sigma equals to 3.77 and mu equals to 330.17. For part two, you work out the uh, sigma to be 3.04. Part two is easier than part one. Question six. Um, so first part, you got binomial distribution with n equals 60 and p equals 0 0.65. Write the hypothesis and work out the critical regions to be x less than or equal to 32 or x greater than or equal to 46. Actual significance level is 4.12%. And 25 is less than 32, which is in the critical region. So reject H0, there is evidence to suggest that the rate of success has changed. So that is the statistics section. Let's go to the mechanics section. So the first question, at time t equal to zero, the speed is 3.16 meters per second. Uh, part two, f equals 10i plus 25 over 2j. Part three, uh, so you get the velocity vector, and then you get the j part of that, which is minus 3 plus 5 over 2t, and when that equals zero, t is equal to 6 over 5 seconds. Question eight, part one. You resolve vertically and you put final velocity at zero and you solve it for u, which is 30.7 meters per second. To get part two, you first of all resolve vertically and put s as minus eight, work out the time taken, which is 3.59 seconds, and then use that time and resolve horizontally uh, and then work out the horizontal distance, which is 95.4 meters. Part three, you just simply make s equals to 7 uh, because it's 15 meters over and you get the quadratic you solve it you get t1 equals 0 0.55 and t2 equals 3.58 so that's 2.03 seconds over the 15 meter mark question 9 <clears throat> so you get uh, dvdt equals i mean dsdt equals 3g squared minus 2kt you make that equal to 0 with t equals to 2 and you get k equals to 3 so v equals to 3t squared minus 6t and then you do a which is 60 minus 6 and when t equals to 5 a is equal to 24 meters per second squared that is question 9 question 10 part 1 okay make sure you draw a clear diagram with all the forces and you resolve horizontally vertically and using f equals mu you are uh, remember friction is acting downwards if it's about to go up and mu works out to be 0 0.059 to two significant figures there. And for the second part, so you remove that force, so friction is upwards now, the particle is uh, sliding down and you get the acceleration to be 5.15 meters per second squared. Question 14, so, sorry, question 11, um, you get T equals to 15g okay t is the tension at a and um, to do part two so you take moments about a and when you cancel it out actually you get bc to be zero so c is actually at b okay good luck i hope you find it useful guys uh, and uh, good luck on monday